Welcome to Feldenkrais with Taro Iwamoto. I am Taro. I will be guiding you through a very gentle uh, hip mobility routine, which will be a great one to do in the morning, getting out of the bed, or in the evening before you go into the bed, just to wind down at the end of the day. So all you need for this practice is your body, the mat, as always, your attention. So let's get started on the floor. So lie down on the floor and bend up your legs, please. And if you need to support your hand with a pillow, cushion, please do. I don't, you don't want to keep your head lifted up. So make sure that you can stay comfortable. And now, go ahead and bring, lift your left, left knee up towards your chest. Inhalate your hands and then just grab a hold of your left knee. Let go of your lower leg and just let the lower leg hang so you're not lifting it up. So using your hands and then very gently bring your knee toward your chest. And you don't really have to pull the knee to the chest to stretch it. Okay, so think of the movement. And I always think about the movement, improving the quality of the movement, improving the smoothness of the movement to improve mobility. I'm not thinking too much about, okay, I can stretch and feel the stretch in the muscle. I think about, okay, I'm moving smoothly through my hip joint. And then back towards your chest. Let it come back. And attend to the tension in the tone, neck, and your chest as you are moving through this, uh, moving your leg. Right now, if you are tensing your abs, let go. It's not necessary. It actually interferes with the uh, mobility of your hips. So let go and soften your chest. Breathe. And just move through the hip gently. And then let's draw a circle, small circle. So you join the circle with your knee, which means that you are moving circle through the hip joint. Smooth circle. Does not need to be a big circle. Smooth circle. And now change the direction of the circle. Put your left foot back down onto the floor. And now switch legs. Bring your right knee towards your chest. Interlace your hands. Grab hold of your right knee with your, with your hands. <clears throat> Let your lower leg hang and begin to move your knee towards your chest without stretching, without forcing. Okay? Think movement, not uh, stretching. Then after a few times, I'm just adjusting my microphone. After a few times, and then let's begin to draw a circle with your knee, which means moving through the hip joint in a circle. You can start with a clockwise or counterclockwise. Does not matter. And go ahead and change the direction of the circle.
and moving your right foot back down to the floor. Now let's try something else. Lift your right uh, the left knee towards your chest. Grab a hold of your knee with the both hands. And begin to tilt your left knee out to the side towards the floor. And if you begin to lift your head and hold your breath, make sure to let your head, let your body turn with your knee, with your hip. And if you feel the strain on your neck, that means you need to support your weight over your head a little bit. Make sure that you don't strain your neck as you're doing this motion. So kind of rolling to the side and bring yourself back to the starting positions. Your right knee can control the movement. So if you, if you tilt your right knee right away, and then you're just using the gravity and the momentum, you have no control. So keep your legs standing, keep your knee vertical so that you can push your body and then you can pull your body back. Towards the end, then it begins to tilt a little bit, that's okay. But in the beginning, you have more leverage if you keep your foot standing so that you can push through that foot, your right foot, to turn your body in control and back. Switch. Stand your left leg and move your right knee to the right towards the floor. Push through your left foot. Don't hold your head, don't strain your neck. Let your head turn and back. And practice this one a few times, these directions. Okay, now stay on the same side, stay on the right, right side. And the next one is a little bit more tricky. So some of you may not be able to do it, but that's okay. <coughs> you can watch me how I do this one. So continue doing the same movements. Tilting your leg, right leg out to the side towards the floor. And then as you come onto the right side, now, you sit, okay? You end up in a side sitting positions. <clears throat> so you end up in these positions. And then you bring yourself down and then come back to the same positions, okay? Once again. I'm making it look easy because I practice a lot. <coughs> and um, so, but uh, this is not easy. I understand. There. <coughs> this is a nice way to get out of the bed, by the way, so that you're not <coughs> being stiff and sore and getting out of the bed. So make it. Transition smoothly out of the bed, all right? So you go through this routine and then boom, and smoothly you're coming out of the bed and ready to start your day. <laughs> Maybe not ready, but <laughs> let's try the other side. Yeah, I mean, this requires 
very good mobility of the hips, both sides, and then also the torso. And coordination, that's really the key. As always with all the my movement training. And you probably noticed that by now. Okay. Here we go. Okay. It's having a hard time to keep my microphone stay on. Anyways, so that's it. And start using this practice and then you can start to incorporate this movement as you're getting out of the bed. Maybe. <laughs> Check out these videos. And if you like this video and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends, comment below how helpful you found this video was. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Happy mindful movement. Bye-bye.